Kontnax fabric is still under analytical geometry. Kumbolo is analytical geometry that is looking at the Kone part at Zilla, number figures, whether it's a triangle, whether it's an angle, whether it's a, a, a trapezium, whether it's a square, whether it's a kite. Then there's a part that deals with circles. I'm a circles and I'm a circle at the origin. With the center at the origin. This is the center of a circle, this is the circle. Or we might find a circle like this one. A center which is not at the origin. These are the two circles of Siba now. This center is not at the origin. Remember, what are the coordinates of the center here? Are zero is to zero. We know the coordinates of this one. Who's zero, no zero? The coordinates of this center here, we'll call them A is to B, because we don't know them. We just have call them A and B. So in other words, whenever we're writing the equation of a circle, I usually take the same one. It is X minus A all squared plus Y minus B all squared is equal to R squared. This is the equation of a circle, whether it is at the origin or not. But we know once we say the center is at the origin, we know the value of x and y there. In other words, we know the value of a and b. Remember, these are the coordinates of the center. These two are the coordinates of the center. A, x wa corner, b, y wa corner. In this particular case, let's push in the values of a and b. Remember one thing and one thing only. Uma ukona equation at find the equation. As you tend to x, as you tend to y, it's going to yoke in the corner of the find the x, no y. So my, my question is, the equation, I find the equation here, so it's going to a, no b, no r squared. Not r, but r squared. So it's going to a, no b, no r squared. Not unless the question is asking you for a radius, which is r. Now, let's push in the, the coordinates. If this is at the origin, origin, with the center at the origin, what will be the equation then? It will be x minus a. What is a in this case? It is 0, 0, 0. a and b, a and b. So it will be x squared plus what is b. In this case, it will be also be 0. So it's going to be y squared is equals to r squared. That's where this formula comes from. If with the center at the origin, it's this one. With the center not at the origin, it's this one. Where you'll push in the values of whatever the value of x that is here and the value of y that is there to find these values of a and b. Of course, when we're looking for r, we are looking for r squared. It's taller if we look at x, so you have to see we graph here. At the same time, this section also wants us to understand completing a square. Completing a square simply means you can see that this is squared, this is also squared, this is also squared. You can keep something in there for squared. Who's what to call a no b? You must put that particular equation in this form, in a completed square, so that you can see what is a and what is b and what is r squared. Let's look at the example that we see here. It is a typical example of what I'm talking about. Determine the center. What is the center? This is the center. And the radius. The radius is the distance from the center of a circle to the circumference. The circumference is the distance around the circle. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the center and the radius. So in other words, these are the coordinates of the center. This is what we're looking for, the center as well as the radius the square root of r squared, which is r. Let's do the thing. In other words, for me to take that one into this form, we call that completing a square. When we have every, to, with the woman as long as into this square, completing a square. Now, I'm a steps of completed or completed square. They're very easy. Step number one, tata yonk into a, 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 a constant, constant term, or one, two, three, the actual numbers. Uba is on the right-hand side. That's step number one. Let's, let's do that. When I look at this, r, that's the constant. I take it that far. So here, at the same time, as I do that, I try and arrange with x bubbing and dawani, no y bubbing and dawani. So we're going to do two steps at the same time. Step number one, we're taking all the, the constant terms. So I on the right hand side, then tato x, internal x, the still is and dawani. Then no y, t is and dawani in this particular case. So I do have x squared there. Ukona mu x and naila, yes, ukona, now I'm putting it closer to this one. So it's gonna be plus. 8x, I move on, so corner y squared plus 
y squared, we call it y, now I'm going y. So it's going to be plus 4y. Take all the values that are assigned. So it's going to be equals to 38. That's step number one. Let's go and see the original. The title x sub so this and the one, you know y sub so this and the one. So let's start a yoke to the number for each other. We'll be calling number for 5, number for each other, and so on and so forth. Now, once we have it in this form, half battle is won. Who squared to look, who squared to look, what look, I go for squared. That, that is what we want to do. We want to formulate everything that is going to be squared. Right. As I mean, how do we complete a square? Next thing I must step a complete a square. Step number one, it's a tata who have where coefficient of x. The coefficient the number of our x. So the coefficient of x in this case, o 8. What do we the coefficient of x squared? 1. O 1 and number of Uban the coefficient ga y o four. Uban the coefficient ga y squared o one. So the coefficient is the number next to that uh, variable. In this particular case, there is started. S so when that you separate this into two. Look who know x, look who know y. So s squared the half. So this so when the half look who know y as well. Remember these are equations. Whatever we do this side, we've got to do the same thing on the other side. As I'm in. Step number one, we are taking half the coefficient of x, we add it on both sides with the balance equation here. Go back and get the number of equal sign, try to get the foot in the y. For example, if we have a CSO yam, we have 50 kg, we have 50 kg with the balance. Same thing, 50 kg must come this side as well. As I'm saying, x squared plus 8x, then we add half the coefficient of x. This becomes important in this case. So we take half the coefficient of x, which is 4. So you, you square that, which is plus 4. You square it. Um, I'm going to find out how 50 kg. I'm going to balance the element. I'm going to find out how to balance the Oh, 50 kg as well. Since I've just added 4 squared from nowhere here, the element equal sign, I must do the same thing. Can you say the 8? Go back to find out 4 squared. I'm going to find out 4 squared, which is in this case 16. I can write this as 16, but I prefer it as 4 squared for a reason that you will see later on. Let's move in. So we have dealt with local no x. Let us do the same thing in local no y. So it's going to be plus y squared plus 4y. Then we take half the coefficient of y. We have coefficient of y. In this particular case, it's going to be 2. You square it, you add it on both sides. So if I take a plus 2 squared, I've added here, I've got to add it on the other side, which will be uh, 4 in this case, 4. Then it balances. You add the 4 from that equation. You add the 4, now you call the 4 squared, which is 16. I add the 2 squared here, which is 4. So the equation is still balanced. I've not done anything yet. I was just trying to complete a square. What I've just done here is what you call completing a square. Why? Because what I have this side, this trinomial, is squared, is something that is squared. And this one will be something that is squared. Let's do it the longer way so that we'll see it. What is it that we have here? We have this. x squared plus 8x plus 16. This can be written in this form. This can be factorized. Let's factorize it. x squared to kill x, no x. I'm a factor of 16 as a skipper of 8 to bar. 4 plus 4. That will give us 16. So they're both positive. Ah, that's what we wanted to get. Once I have it like that, I've completed a square. Plus. Let me show you that we've completed a square. This is the same as x plus 4. So instead of writing it again, this is square. Ah, that's what I wanted to get. That's what I wanted to get. This is what we call completing a square. We've completed a square on one part. We've got to do the same thing on the other side. In other words, we factorize this. Remember, this is equals to. This is 16 plus 4. It's 20. 20 plus 38. It's going to be 58. Remember, this is R squared. Not R, but R squared. Let's move. This is going to be Y times Y. I'm going to factor as 4. That will give us 4 or 2 times 2. That will give us that will give us a four or two plus two also because of four. Remember, I multiply, I must get those. When I add this, I must get the middle term. Four times four is sixteen. Four plus four is eight. Same thing here. Four times two times two is four. Two 
plus 2, it is equal to 4. So both of these must be positive. Ah, it's the same thing there. I've got here y plus 2, open to a which is square. It is equal to 58. Now it is in the form that we want. This is x minus b, x minus x plus a. In this case, it's x minus. You put this in the right form. Remember, if formula it x minus. Ogushkutila, what is it that we actually have here? Here we have what? We've got x minus into minus 4. This is how it works out. Because minus and minus gave that plus. So before it was that plus, it should be in that form. x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared. So if I take that and put it in this form, it will be in this form. Then plus, so this one will then be equal to y minus into minus 2. All this is squared is equal to 58. Ah, looking at it, you can see the value of A there. You can see the value of B. Which are the coordinates of the center? Remember there, we want to find the center. The center then will be... You want to exclude center. It's X minus... A and B, which, which is A and B in this case. A is a minus sign. So this is X minus A plus Y minus B. So what is the value of A? It is minus 4. And what is the value of B? It is also minus 2. This is the center. Not only the center, we also have to find the radius. What is our radius? Our R is, will be equal to square root of 58. Because this is R squared. If I want uh, the radius, I've got to put a square root on both sides. So this is what we mean by completing a square. It helps us completing a square to be able to find the coordinates of the center as well as the radius. Remember, this is radius squared because it is x minus b all squared plus y minus b all squared is equals to r squared. Thank you.